Thanksgiving week. I think it's really, really important, guys, you think about what you're thankful for and who you're thankful for. And make sure you let those people know that. Call them on the phone, write them a letter. If they're in person, go talk to them. All right, but I don't think we say that enough to the people that have helped us through our journey. All right, you just expect that they're going to be there for you every day. There's a lot of people that have helped you become who you are. Some of them aren't here, some of them are. Make sure you reach out to them and tell them you love them this week. Everybody got me? You got to count your blessings. I think it's important for people to remind you too, you know. I mean, for all of us. I mean, we all know people that tomorrow aren't going to be here, and they don't know that today. This to me is a destination job. I said that when I came here. And my sons so far have not had to move from their schools and go to another town and not know any other kids. And you know, and I think if I can finish doing what I set out to do at this university and, and do what I'm trying to do for my sons and that's allow them to be high school graduates in the city of Raleigh and move on to their colleges, then I've done my job you know, as a father to them. Um, not that it ends at that point, but as a coach, you don't get to stay in the same city very long often. And so for me going into year seven, and hopefully I'm talking to you in seven more years about the same thing, this is a great place for me. And I'm very, very grateful to be here and excited about what comes next for me. In America, we make our own decisions and enjoy freedom of choice. For too long, power companies have put profits first, customers and the environment last. At Power Home Solar, we'll build a world where homes and businesses run on affordable, clean, renewable solar energy. A world we're proud to pass to our children. We're an American company using American-made panels. We're building a movement, one business, one home, one panel at a time. Power Home Solar. Own your power. Good night, Emma. Right to sleep. All clear. On the way. Time for Operation Santa. We can spot everything with these CPI cameras. And now we wait. Save over 50%. Plus, get your choice of three smart home devices free during CPI's Black Friday sale. At Strategic Systems, we understand that a reliable IT infrastructure doesn't just materialize by itself. We've been helping triangle businesses of all sizes build and manage secure, reliable technology solutions for over 25 years. Strategic Systems and CEI. Are you transforming your business?
Well, excited uh, for our seniors this week and, and obviously uh, to have rivalry week and senior day at the same time uh, for 12 guys um, that have been through a lot and, and have done a lot for our program. And uh, it's always an emotional day for, for the young men, for their families. Uh, for me as a coach, it's always a very, very proud day uh, to be with those guys in our last college football game. Uh, as I've said before, um, it's a day that I remember very well as a player. Probably the only game that I remember almost every snap of, uh, as long as that was now. Um, and then you get to play uh, our final home game against our rival and, and a great one, you know, to have a rivalry this close together. Every one of these games that I've been a part of has been very heated. And uh, I know how much we want to win. I know how much they want to win. I know what the fans are like, the whole deal. And, and so from our fans, <clears throat> we will be in all red and want to have you guys out there wearing your red for us and cheering these young men on and honoring our senior class the right way and look forward to having you do that. And uh, I know how much this game matters uh, in the state. With that being said, you know, I think for us uh, as a football team, it's about putting together four quarters um, of football. I think they're starving to play a four quarter game, to be honest. I think they've tasted um, the first half of Louisville coming in the locker room with a, a lead, the second half of Georgia Tech playing our best football probably for two straight quarters in a while. They've tasted what it's supposed to look like, but they have also realize that it's four quarters of that or they don't win. And I think they're just starving to put four quarters together. Um, and it comes senior week against our rivals, so a great time for them to have the focus required. They've shown a lot of character. And they've also been characters. You know, I think we've had a lot of immaturity, which you expect with the young roster, not social immaturity or things like that, but just growing pains that you go through with young guys that want to play more. But we've also had tremendous resolve and, and toughness from guys that are playing um, before they should or playing through pain, you know. Like, like any football team, there's guys that are beat up, that are out there grinding, knowing that there's no one else. Like, they have to go. Um, and I remember talking to Brock Miller one week, and he was held together with duct tape, basically. And I'm like, are you going to be OK? And he's like, Coach, i got to go. i got no choice. These guys need me out there. And, I told him I love him for that, you know, so you just see the, the toughness and resolve and and then you see the improvement in some guys and, and that's been probably the biggest joy, seeing the old line come together over the course of the year, you know, seeing guys step up in rooms like Thomas Rocchio has stepped up in the tight end room and, and has become a, a guy that we can play with and trust out there, you know, see guys at linebacker playing that are true freshmen, Jalen Scott, Drake Thomas, Peyton Wilson, the tailbacks obviously been playing all year, but Watching their growth has been enjoyable, you know, and, and helping them through their failures. Good. Good, Devin. Ball's right here. Here we go. Down here. Coming back. It's been probably my hardest year from the standpoint of uncontrollable events, which forced me to re-look at how we're going to do things every week. Like, you know, you have a major injury every year, it's, it's always going to happen. But to have as many as we've had and have it every week, it seems like there's a new one. And to keep the building positive, to keep the staff focused, uh, I've had to be the most positive I've ever had to be in my life every single day I walk in this building because there's so many things going on that make you like, what the heck, you know, what, what are we dealing with? Why are we dealing with this? And like I've told them, we don't choose the tests in our life. We choose how we focus on beating those things and winning and uh, getting through them together. And so I think it's really tested me and, you know, I've done everything I can that I know how to do to stay positive with this football team and this coaching staff. Yes. Two's up. Good job, Dev. Good sack. Set, man. The biggest thing is when the ball gets down the field, I want to see that guy getting run past the returner, right? Are you here too? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want you to reverse pivot. I want you to speed turn so you don't lose your stride, all right? All right, real quick, where's Laurel? Where's Laurel? Let's see if you can catch a punt, Laurel. All right, where's my punter at? You might get one in the game. If you catch this, I might let you do it in the game. Here we go. 
Let's go, break it in, break it down. Let's go, Larell, break him down. Let's go, baby. Uh, Woo. Made you tired right there, didn't it? Yes, sir. Let's go, get him. out, three, out, three, one, two. He said family on three, one, two. <laughs> Was there ever a time when you took football for granted? Oh, absolutely. I think when you're young and you don't realize what the game means to you, you know, skipping away, uh, a rep in the weight room or not appreciating criticism when it's coming from a constructive place, I mean, those are missed opportunities to improve, you know, and I don't, if you're young, you don't realize that, you know, you just don't, you can't. Over time, you do. Angeline and Rocchio, two tight ends are just ahead of Leary. Handoff, Person, Person dives for the end zone. He breaks the plane, touchdown State. I know like last year when I had like the little wrist injury or whatever, um, I wasn't able to continue to play and then I went from a wrist to a hip injury and then having to have hip surgery at the end of the year, I was in and out of the game. So yeah, I felt like I wasn't able to show people what I was capable of doing. So then come this year, I've been working hard all off season, changed everything up, you know, started eating well. I was like, this year gonna be my year and I can show people what I'm capable of doing. A couple games get, get going, I played fine, did well. And then next thing you know, I had the injury, the Florida State game on my ankle, a big setback that I didn't want to happen. So then I started thinking to myself like, is this actually what I want to do? Keep going, keep pushing forward. But then after talking with Coach Solomon, Deontay, all them boys just constantly encouraged me every day. It just made me think about like, this is part of the game and this like what happens. So it's just, it's the matter of fact, how, how you overcome it and when you get back on the field and how you gonna finish. So constantly every day I've been studying more and I've been trying to, you know, make myself known like on the field. So like whenever I step on the field, I feel like nobody's gonna stop me. Like I'm gonna show people what I'm capable of doing. The case was if I didn't get surgery, then I'd be out for the season. But if I get surgery, then it at least give me an opportunity to come back for like the last two games of the season. And then even though that was the case, the doctor still basically told me that I was done for the season. But then, um, when, of course, when he gave me that news, I was heartbroken. I broke out, broke down in tears, started crying, called my mom, my dad, basically telling them what the doctor said. But then after a while, Justin was like, I'm gonna give you one day. And after that one day, we are gonna hit the ground rolling. So I had my surgery, came in like the next day and started treatment going. And if it wasn't for the, the training staff, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Going to the season, you know, everybody had high hopes, you know, of you know, everybody having their own, you know, best season and all this and that, including myself. And then when everybody get injured, it's like, what now? Like, what's next? And then when you think about it, you gotta, you know, just keep on like, cheering on your brothers. When you work all off season with them, you know, you know what they're capable of doing, but they just don't get a chance, you know, to do it on the field. It's, it's kind of heartbreaking in a sense. Certain times where I wasn't able to attend certain games where I have to like stay at their apartment with my foot propped up, icing all day, doing everything I can trying to get back and play. It's like certain thoughts just going like through my mind. I'm like, what am I like, like, why am I not out there? And I'm start missing the game more and more and more. And then all of a sudden, you know, you just down on yourself and I like, you can't do it anymore. But that's when you got, you know, people in your corner. As long as I got them on my side, I feel like there's nothing that, you know, can stop me or others. Good night, Emma. Right to sleep. All clear. On the way. Time for Operation Santa. We can spot everything with these CPI cameras. And now we wait. Save over 50%, plus get your choice of three smart home devices free during CPI's Black Friday sale.
Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Ford F-150. Built for the holidays. Now get 20% estimated savings on select Ford F-150s and Rangers. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards at your Carolina Ford dealer. For years, you've relied on your electric cooperative to power your daily life. Now, we're going one step further. North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a network of electric vehicle charging stations across the state, boosting tourism and economic opportunities, reducing emissions, and empowering our members with the latest technology. Learn more at ncdriveelectric.com. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in, spending part of your Saturday night with us. And we're at Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh for the 109th State Carolina football game. This is senior night here at Carter Finley. You know, there's 12 guys in it, and they're all different. You know, you know, you talk about each one of them. They've all been through different things. Uh, I think every day I can't wait to see them. They're such positive young men. And um, so there's a lot of stories in that group that you think about that you'll cherish. Um, and they, I'm excited, you know, to see those guys after college and what they do because they're all going to be very successful men. I'm originally from Buffalo, New York. I was born and raised in Buffalo, and I um, moved to Georgia around high school. And I went to Georgia Military College, which is a junior college. First and foremost, it was a military school, so I had to wake up each morning around six o'clock, get dressed with slacks and a bow tie or a tie and a and a military hat every day and. The military is something I feel like is very important to the, to the U.S. period, and I appreciate everything they do. But in order to graduate from that school, you have to be in the cadet corps. So I had to take orders from military students my age when I just came there to play football and go to school. But that was the other part of it that I had to go through in order to get to this point that I'm at today. I could say that the biggest difference is the amount of help you get while you're here as far as just all around academically being here in the Murph and just everybody catering to you. As far as if it's not the nutrition staff, then it's the training staff or the strength staff or even the coaching staff. Everybody's just figuring out ways to help you be better. It's something I, I really appreciate. It, it was something I noticed once I first got here. I love NC State football. Lewis is the best person I've ever known. That's true. He's also very mean. That's not true. It's the New York way though, so you feel me? <laughs> People do joke with me about how grateful I am or like, because some students just came here for fresh out of high school, so they didn't have to go through that, that struggle that people call it, which it was. it was, it was a tough situation. But a lot of people didn't have to go through that. So it's like the smaller things here that I appreciate. And I try to get on the younger guys about just being appreciative of that because some people, don't get the opportunity to be here. A lot of people want to be here, but don't get the opportunity. So I try to talk to them and help them understand like the, the opportunity that they have here at NC State. And I'm just a very positive person. So I feel like that rubs off on other people. Like the fact that I'm always positive and no matter what's going on, I'm going to always give my 100% effort and just always stay positive. So I feel like it's rubbing off on them as far as them seeing like, okay, Keyshawn can go through this this, that, and the third, and still be positive and coming here with a positive attitude every day, why can't I? Fellas, close your eyes for one second. Close your eyes, bow your head for one second, all right? Seniors, I want you to remember the first time you picked up a football. The very first time you decided to play football and the passion that you felt, and the hunger that you felt, and the drive that you felt to want to be great, that greatness has never stopped. Now you come to your final college football game. Make it a great one. God dang, man. Nothing better than the damn rain game. Sure. Uh, just like when you're a kid. 
flying around, having fun, playing our ass off and executing. Everybody for the seniors, everybody for the mission. Everybody got it? Yes, and here's the handoff to Williams over the left side. Williams hit at the line of scrimmage, no farther. Here's a handoff going in. Fumble. Uh, Antonio Williams fumbles a football, but Howell falls on it. Got a hole over the right side, explodes into the secondary, and it's tripped up. Here is Leary throwing a screen pass to Van Knight. Right side 20 on the numbers 30 yard line to the 35. Yeah. Here's the handoff. It is going to uh, Houston. He breaks a tackle, gets into the secondary to the 50 yard line to the 40, down the right side 30, 20. And here's the stab out of the pistol. A handoff going to Van Knight. He's hit and dropped. This will be a 31-yard field goal from the middle of the field. High snap, ball down. Kick is on its way. It is good. Here's the handoff is fake. And here is a sack by the pack. Aleem McNeil sacks Sam Howell. Here's a long pass down the sideline. Caught by Brown. Ball down, kick up, and it is good. Hey, he pushed the ball for 89 yards in the first quarter. World. Cox is on. Now he's going to fire a wounded duck downfield. It is tipped and intercepted by the pack at the 35 yard line. Here's Wilson moving to the middle of the field at the 50 and he's hit and uh, dropped. Way to be there, you hear me? Goes in motion. Lines up right. Three wide receivers to that side. Leary looks that way. Stands in the pocket. Fires long down the right side. Got a man wide open. It's Hines. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Wolfpack. 39 yard catch. Keep doing our job, boys. Just got to tackle a little better. Other than that, you guys are playing your ass off. Just got to tackle a little better. That's it. We've done this. We've been there. Now we have to do what? Finish. The key to the drill is to finish now. All right, and you play every play as if it's your last, right? Is that what we talked about Friday night? And if it is my last, let it be my best. Let it be my best play. I know this. If we just execute and do the job that we know we can do, we will win this game. But we got to go out there and handle our business. They're going to rush forward. Leary has time. He pumps it over the middle, incomplete, and almost intercepted, or was it intercepted? It is intercepted by Carolina. Here is Howell, hands it away to Williams. Big hole over the left side, 15, 10, 5, dives for the end zone, touchdown Carolina. Howell claps his hands, play action faking. He sets, throws to Williams, wide open right sideline. Williams to the five, into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Back at its own 40. Here's a handoff going to Bam Knight over the right side. Fumbles a football, and it's recovered by Jeremiah Gemmel for Carolina. Now play action faking, back to his 40. He's going to gun it down the left side. Browns open, catches, 15-yard line, 10-5, touchdown. They will win this football game. Here tonight at Carter Finley and stop a three game losing streak to state. And a season full of injuries and adversity ends for the Wolfpack. Final score Carolina 41, State 10. Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, Bring the tree. Ford F-150. Built for the holidays. Now get 20% estimated savings on select Ford F-150s and Rangers. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards at your Carolina Ford dealer. In America, we make our own decisions and enjoy freedom of choice. For too long, power companies have put profits first, customers and the environment last. At Power Home Solar, we'll build a world where homes and businesses run on affordable, clean, renewable solar energy. A world we're proud to pass to our children. We're an American company using American-made panels. We're building a movement. One business, one home, one panel at a time. Power Home Solar. Own your power. For years, you've relied on your electric cooperative to power your daily life. Now. We're going one step further. North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a network of electric vehicle charging stations across the state. 
boosting tourism and economic opportunities, reducing emissions, and empowering our members with the latest technology. Learn more at ncdriveelectric.com. Good night, Emma. Right to sleep. All clear. On the way. Time for Operation Santa. We can spot everything with these CPI cameras. And now we wait. Save over 50%, plus get your choice of three smart home devices free during CPI's Black Friday sale. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola. When you are stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke and share it with a friend. Share a Coke and go Pack. You guys that are coming back, understand we are going to fix this. Here's what I need. Before we leave, I need everybody to go up to these seniors and thank them. And thank them. Because it's the last time we'll be with you guys. Here's the second thing I need. I need everybody to understand that when we come back here in January, it ain't going to be the same. We're going to get back to being tough. It's going to be a grind, and it's going to be the greatest thing you've ever done. So get your mind right right now, because you don't get to play hard and play tough and play together and not have a badass offseason. That's when you win it. Everybody understand me? I feel as good about the future of this program as I ever have uh, because I see what these kids are doing right now and how hard they're working. And I see the excitement and the injured group that's coming back, that's a talented group. Um, and although there's people on the outside that are supporting us, I get letters every day and thank you for that, the people that have done that. I know there's always negativity in, in this world and, and that hasn't hurt us. You know, we're going to fight through that and stick together because I think that's what Wolfpack people do. And I'm excited for what's coming. Uh, I really am. And to think about the 30 freshmen that are going to have all that game experience next year and then think about the guys coming back. That group right there is going to be special, man. You had Eason, Tim, McMahon, Tyrone. Yep. Woo. There's a lot of stuff that we have to do right in the off season to get back to where we want to be, but there's a lot of pieces now that have gained tools in their tool belt to help us win next year. And so that gives me a lot of pause and, and opportunity to be super excited about what's coming down the stretch. Family on two, one, two. Yeah.